My name is James Ruddle, and I am a art teacher, a husband, father of three, and an artist. Uh, I am a Christian who is an artist, and I think it makes a difference being a Christian first because uh, everything in my life now draws people to and points people to who Jesus really is. And I think that can be done whether you're a musician, artist, athlete, teacher, lawyer, or anything. Uh, but I've just chosen to be an artist, and so I like to point to Jesus through all the art that I do. I think God has pointed me to the medium of art because of all of the experiences that I've had, all of the skills that I've developed through my life uh, have allowed me to use my hands, to use my creative imagination, and to use the skill sets that I've developed over my life to uh, show who Jesus is through the work that I create. As an artist uh, and Christian, I have developed a sort of unique or niche area of art. I uh, go around to different churches and I paint live in front of the band and I help people to uh, see God from a visual perspective. The music allows them to, to see how the Holy Spirit is moving and I believe that through the act of painting, people are also drawn into worship and that is the gift that I think God has given me. So there's a number of people in my life that have sort of challenged the perspective of art being a actual act of worship. And I would argue that God creates individuals to be creative. Uh, he's created uh, people to have the desire to create. And so me creating um, visual images or visual interpretations of who I believe Jesus was is no different than a musician writing a song that also draws people to who Jesus was. I feel like the Holy Spirit sort of inspires an image or inspires a, a visual that I can at least draw upon. Sometimes it's a word, sometimes it's an actual image, uh, but usually from that word or from that scripture, then I will sort of delve in and let uh, the Holy Spirit sort of help me create something that is gonna be impactful for the congregation, impactful for that message. I think uh, from you know, uh, the world's perspective in 2018, we're bombarded by the image. And one thing in 2013 when I sort of met Christ was uh, I felt like Christ was saying, you know what, uh, you have been bombarded by negative images for so long. Uh, as a Christian artist, it is your time to start creating images that uh, speak to me images that point to my son. And I feel like that sort of that prophetic word or that, that idea that God sort of gave me this idea to paint in churches has, has disrupted the, the norm of how a church service would run in North America. But I feel like that disruption also uh, speaks so eloquently to people who have never seen it done before. And painting is totally different from music. You know, there is something that people can draw on. Uh, but overall, I would say based on feedback that people have given me over the years, it's been very, very positive. But I think the fact that God keeps opening up doors in the Christian realm uh, continues to reaffirm the fact that I'm doing the, this for the right reasons. I have to continually check my, my pride, continually check um, uh, my skill level, and uh, 
all of the, the, the things that make art good and just sort of rest assured that God has given me this talent. God has helped me to refine my technique, to refine all that I have to point back to Jesus. Uh, not all my work is Christian based. I would say that uh, I'm mostly inspired by the group of seven and I, ex I have experienced God numerous times through our Canadian landscape. In 2014, I started uh, writing a grant to get a, a bridge. It's called Henderson Bridge, and it's about 270 feet by 35 feet. I painted that in the summer of 2015 with six students as sort of my, my helpers. But uh, the work that I am most proud of uh, is the stuff that points to Jesus. And I feel like that's the most impactful thing that I've done in my life. Uh, I don't want to die having people remember my name, but I want people to at least see God moving through my life, through the body of work that I've created, and to see that there is this constant tie of uh, bringing light into the darkness. So probably my favorite scripture that uh, I draw a lot of inspiration from is John 12, 32. And I, when I'm lifted up, will draw all people towards myself. And that was Jesus saying that. Um, and that refers specifically to when he uh, is sort of prophetically telling people that he's going to be dying on a cross. I draw so much inspiration from that because the cross, to me, is where I just fall on my knees in, in thankfulness, um, in understanding the reality of who Jesus was.